one of the things that I noticed is on the way over here, it just takes a very small amount of energy to push it along at, uh, at two to three knots. Uh, pushing at hull speed, 10 times much more energy almost than uh, just two, two knots or so. And uh, there's, there's a number of things that, that uh, if you're motoring alone, just motoring, um, and you're going very slowly, you do get significant amounts of range out of the boat. Um, but the optimum point of sail is actually at uh, when you're motor sailing, because the electric motor creates wind. Because it pushes the boat into the wind, it creates a parent wind on the sails, and then the sails fill out, and then all of a sudden you've got wind. Whereas if you didn't have the electric motor pushing just a tiny little bit, then um, You'd, your sails would be luffing. You'd be just sitting there and your boat would be doing nothing. So the electric motor actually allows you to find these small amounts of wind that can get you going. And it's very small amount of power that, that uh, is necessary to do that, which is like really the kind of amazing thing about the electric motor. Um, I noticed uh, there was a point where there was no wind at all and the boat would uh, start uh, rocking back and forth in a trough. Just a little bit of power again, about you know, four or five hundred watts, and the boat, uh, the boat was tracking nicely and, and pointing itself into the, into the waves and it wasn't getting caught up in the swell and uh, doing the, the rocking thing in the trough, which was really nice as well. Um, this boat will go a long, long way on small amounts of power. It's, it's when you're trying to go hull speed that it really requires a, a generator, a hull speed for an extended period of time. Basically, an electric boat we consider to have about one hour of run time. If you're trying to run at hull speed, we're close to it, but maybe four or five hours. This has about 1,700 pounds of batteries on this boat, which is equivalent to 10 8D batteries, and um, that's about two to three times as many batteries as the average electric boat would have. And with that, I get, I can cruise to this side of Santa Cruz Island pretty comfortably. And another thing about electric boat is you have these giant batteries, and then with uh, solar and wind recharging it, and hydro, which is from the propeller spinning, you get a significant amount of power coming into your battery bank. So um, even though your range is, your immediate range is limited, your extended range is actually, could be far greater than a diesel boat. Um, 